Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of two minutes, six seconds in round number five. He is the winner by way of knockout, still undefeated, and still the IBF junior middleweight champion of the world, Jermall Charlo. All right, Mo, thank you very much. Congratulations, a lot of emotion after the fight. Jamal, tell us what happened here. Uh, first off, I want to thank God for giving me this opportunity to showcase my talent. Um, hey, I'm, I'm a little, I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and tell Julian William I'm sorry for everything that I... Hey, folks, folks, he's apologizing. Oh, Give him a chance. It's cool. Hey, listen, bringing up to this fight, Julian William talk. He talked crap to me for oh, probably over a year. I held it in. I did what I had to do to become the champion of the world, and I deserve my respect as a boxer, as a fighter, as somebody that put their life on the line. And and I want to thank my manager, everyone that that that, that stood by my side when when I did stay quiet. Now he disrespect me all the way up to the fight. Not just you know. I want to fight you. We're going to get the fight done. I, I made the fight happen. I, I gave the fans what they wanted to see. I stayed at 154 pounds, although I do want to move up to 160. Just to fight someone that the world said I couldn't beat. And, you know, and, I, and like I said, I apologize for me being a fighter and my emotions took over me. But I was doubted in this fight. First off, I didn't, I didn't think this fight was a 50-50 fight. But I let the fans do what they do and pick the fight how they did it. And you know what? I trained hard. I stayed in the gym. I, I changed my game from the Austin Trout fight. And you know what? Thank everybody who support Lions Only. Here's what happened at the end of the fight. As Williams came over to you to congratulate you on the fight, and then you basically told him, Get away from me. I said, I don't want your apology. I don't want your, I don't want your congratulations. Sorry, it, my emotions took over me at the time. And you know what? That's not me. All right, so now you still have the emotion. We'll talk about the fight in just a moment. But do you feel as though that this will detract now from this super victory? Detract what? I knocked him Obviously, out. Obviously, these people are booing. I don't care what they say. I knocked him out. Okay, let's take a look at the knockout. Here's the first one. Let's take a look at the knockout. Let's take a look at the first one and tell us what was going on here, Jamal. I was thinking about my kids it's and how much. Second round. Yeah, and, I, and how much I love them. And, hey, I know you at home watching, Daddy. No matter what they say about me, I'm going to continue to work hard. And that's what I did in there. It's doubtful you were thinking about your kids when you hit them with that jab, but tell us now what happened here in the fifth round. In the fifth round, I did what my trainer told me to do. Stayed in there, and, and bang, the shot went home. He was putting up a pretty good fight. The cards were basically even until this knockout here as we go to the end of the fight. Did you feel as though it was an even fight? I was, I was getting stronger. I was, I was finding myself. I, I wanted to be myself all camp, and it's, I'm not going to let you all rob me of my character. I never, I never disrespect this dude, ever, until I knocked him out. And there's the end of the fight. Now you have stated that you would like to go up to 160. Was this your last fight at 154? I'm at 154 pounds if it's a good big fight for me. But well, your brother, you're not going to fight. So that my brother, <laughs> my brother holds the WBC. My my gym mate holds the WBA. Uh, Canelo got the WBO. I'm down to unified. That's what. Where you at, Cinnamon? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at, Cinnamon? You heard it. Canelo Alvarez calling him out. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Lines only, baby.